I'm Ashley Moran. I'm the founder and director of Ashmore Group. We're based in Sydney. We service various parts of New South Wales. We started in 2005. Since then, we've just been able to grow from strength to strength. We've been able to utilise, obviously, all the latest and greatest technology to, to get us to where we are today. But ultimately, we've been able to get here through hard work and perseverance with our clients and with our, our team members, our techs. We predominantly deal in the commercial market, hospitals, aged care facilities, food production, education, defence. Our typical projects range from you know, $20,000 up to $4 million across the portfolio. We do civil drainage and some minor civil bulk earthworks. We do hydraulic services above ground and in ground, um, which encapsulate gas, water, fire, sewer. Uh, the, the way we've modelled our business, we have our own earth moving plant, our own excavators, bobcats, trucks, and, and obviously associated equipment around that. We find that that was the best way moving forward because we were able to hold the control. We weren't waiting on subcontractors, we weren't waiting on equipment that was non-compliant. We were able to make sure that we, we had the best gear, the right gear, and be able to deliver the job in the time frame that our clients wanted. Well, in the years gone by, we've always focused around using paper plans or sketches or, or general markups. We've started to see a shift in the marketplace. We've started to see a shift in the way builders build and a drive towards BIM modelling or three-dimensional modelling where we're able to use clash detection or foresee design issues before the building is constructed or before we're there. And that's where, in the past, we, we haven't really been able to do that. It's always been a two-dimensional drawing and it's basically everyone sorted out between yourselves. Over the last couple of years, obviously with the drive towards BIM and three-dimensional modelling, that we needed to get a solution or find a way to be able to get on board with architects, with designers, with CAD operators to ensure that we were following the same processes that they were so we could assist and make sure that whatever we were producing was in line with what they had designed. We made a decision to drift towards the, the digital or the geospatial type avenue of the business because the market is rapidly changing and a point of difference is always a positive and one of the things that we, on our research, that we didn't see a lot of businesses taking up this technology of our size and of our scale. So we made a decision to go through and start looking at what we could get, where we could get it from, who, who would be able to service us and how hard it would be to use. We, we needed to understand exactly what we were getting into up front rather than buying a, a very expensive, complicated piece of machinery which would be essentially mothball because no one knew what they were doing. And the big thing for us was understanding the platforms and how they, they worked and how we were able to take it from the office environment and bring it out into the field. We spoke to many different companies, we went back and forth. And, and the, I guess our brief was we wanted a platform we could give to tradespeople with limited knowledge, field technicians, once again limited knowledge, that would be able to take digital data and then give it some body in the field. We didn't, we want to be able to just give the guys a tablet or a machine to say this is what we want to do and this is how we're going to do it. We looked at price point, which, which is key in, in most business decisions, but we also looked at the level of support that we'd need as well and the level of training that we'd need and the costs associated with it. It wasn't until probably late 2018 that we had made a decision on what we were going to move forward with. We spoke to, to CR Kennedy. We, we'd pretty much made up our mind on what system we were going to go with, which wasn't the CR Kennedy product. However, we went in and we met with their team in Mascot, and within 15 minutes of us being there with the team, myself and a couple of our management staff were able to use the Icon ICR70 with a Panasonic tablet we were impressed. We, it was intuitive, it was user friendly and I think one of the biggest turning points for us partnering with CR Kennedy on this was the level of support we got and 
the level of ongoing support, even to this day, we can ring up, we can ask questions, they have a remote support, they can get into the tablet and help us and guide us. And we went from having a decision made with an alternate supplier to actually completely backflipping and going with the, with the CR Kennedy product, which was the icon. It was a good business decision. One of the challenges we have on site, whether it be a deck set out or a in-ground setup, is other people walking around, people moving things, steel fixes being in our way, people kicking string lines. I mean, the, con the conventional way of setting a deck out is you put string lines out and you do measurements and you do chalk lines and you mark on the ground with paint, texture, whatever means you've got available. Those markings are only as good as the people walking around. If they kick it and move it, you're gonna have incorrect data. We would set string lines up, we would set markings out and we'd, we'd go through and put points in. If they were damaged, moved or bumped, it would be the whole process from where to go again to get those marks back. It was a complete waste of time and the accuracy was not exactly the best. And a really good example is, is we put a mark on the ground and we dig it with an excavator or, or, or some kind of shovel even and we'd lose that mark. So then the process of measuring again would occur, then we'd measure again once the pipe was in. With the Leica product, the ICR70, we're able to, to do the mark out with the total station, and then we're able to go through and measure it half a dozen times with no tapes, no string lines, and it's accurate. One of the key benefits of using the system was that we were able to take the data from what was on a plan and then actually do an as-build and compare it to the two and get tolerances. So if a drainage point was out, we could fix it before the slab was poured, before the core hole was drilled, before anything had gone any further. It, it sped the process up that much that we were able to essentially take away having one guy on the site that we didn't need. He could be putting pipe in the ground, hanging pipe off the ceiling, because it's a one-person operation. It's the guy who has the tablet, can do the mark out, can do the set out, can check it once it's done, and it completely removes an additional person required. Accuracy is extremely important. We set out for walls and basins and, and taps and, and toilets. It gave builders and our clients a lot more confidence knowing that we had this type of technology behind us that was able to validate and ensure that what we were putting in the ground was correct. So it shows them what they're getting before they get it. We're able to give them a surety that we know what we're doing, that we don't have free works. We don't have to go back. They, they can use the data that we give them to give to the consultant, to give to the engineer, to give to their surveyor and say, here's what we've got from our contractor. Can you implement this into your design? It's a win-win it's a situation for everyone. In this current world, digital world, information is key. And if we can give the right information and the accurate information to the client, we're leaps and bounds in front of everyone else. And that is what has helped us, I believe, on numerous projects, get them over the line. Delivering quality services to our clients is at the core of our business. That's, that's why we partner with CR Kennedy in this role, so they can help us achieve those goals. If there's one piece of advice that I could give to other companies that are in the same place that we are, embrace the technology because it's not going anywhere. It's, it's, it's here to stay. Try and adapt to it because a lot of the time it will help. So I would say grab it, run with it. Your clients are going to run with it. You need to get on board with it. Looking forward to a very bright future, continuing partnerships with good, strong, reputable companies that are able to support us like we support them and move forward.